most of our social festivals and occasions, whether religious or secular, they are a celebration of light triumphing over darkness and the good defeating evil. In this regard, though the kitchen finds a central place in the eventual festivities, but it actually has a limited say in defining the cause of events that produces this triumph or victory. But the good news is that this pattern can be changed and made a thing of the past. For there is a way to involve the kitchen more deeply and make it a source of influence that determines the actual cause of events. We know the power that conquers the world is faith. And this faith is generated through love. We were created in God's image and likeness because we have this potential to create love. If we saturate our thoughts and words with love and let our actions be an expression of this love, then the kitchen and the vocation of preparing food offers us a great opportunity to become channels of love. Every dispute and conflict in the world, every injustice, oppression and corruption in the world, every deception, fraud, crime and indifference in the world, waiting for this love to come and heal. The deserts of anger, hatred, grief is thirsting for this love. We were created in God's image and likeness because we have this potential to create love. Therefore, if we desire, we can turn our kitchens into temples of love and produce spiritual food using natural ingredients. Food prepared with the spirit of love burning in our hearts will give a new direction in our families, societies, nations and to the ends of the earth. Having filled our hearts with love and new hope, now let's enter into our kitchen to prepare this special jackfruit curry. These are the ingredients. Jackfruit raw, 500 grams cut into pieces. Tomato 4, onion 5, ginger garlic paste 2 teaspoon, cumin seed 1 teaspoon, kasuri methi 1 pinch, green chili 4 pieces, red chili 1, grated coconut 1 cup, Oil 4 tablespoon, bay leaf 2, garlic 15 pots, Kashmiri chili powder 1 teaspoon, red chili powder 1 and a half teaspoon, coriander powder 1 teaspoon, cumin powder 2 teaspoon, garam masala quarter teaspoon, cardamom. One. Take two cups of water in a pressure cooker. Add the cubes, add the jackfruit pieces along with a pinch of salt and turmeric powder and boil only for one minute and release the pressure and strain out the jackfruit and set it aside. Jackfruit should not be overcooked. Mm -hmm. 
cook only for one minute and release the pressure. It's now half cooked. the water content heat 2 tablespoon oil in a wide bottomed pan once the oil is hot put the half boiled jackfruit season and give a light fry and set it aside Use the same pan, add 2 teaspoon oil. Once the oil is hot, add cumin seeds. Use a medium heat. Add cumin seeds to splatter and add bay leaves. Now add one cardamom seeds I am adding, cardamom seeds. Add the red chili. Now add the red chili. And add the garlic pots. Now add two onion finely sliced. The onion is almost fried. Now we will add the ginger garlic paste and stir fry. The balanced onion, I made paste and now we will add it. And give a stir fry. Add some salt in it.
add some salt in it. The onion has fried nicely and has turned the color into a golden teal golden color. Now we'll add all the masalas. We'll add uh, turmeric powder, coriander powder and red chili powder. Also add the cumin seed powder. Now we'll add the Kashmiri chili powder. Fry the masalas well. Add in the tomato puree. Mix well. Fry nicely. Here the raw smell goes. It's nicely fried. Now add in the coconut and uh, green chili paste and mix well. Add in the kasuri methi. All the masalas are cooked well. Adding water till the gravy turns thin. I will close the lid for another 5 to 6 minutes. It's cooked well. I will add the half fried, half boiled jackfruit. Give a good mix. All the jackfruits are nicely coated with the gravy. I'll close the lid for another couple of minutes in a low heat. Jackfruit is nicely soaked in the gravy. Add in garam masala. Add uh, coriander leaves. Now we'll add one teaspoon of pure ghee to give. A beautiful flavor. Mm. 
it's done now almost I'll serve in a bowl it looks very wonderful and it's very tasty jackfruit is very medicinal and is good for health all of you have to try this and let me know how it turned out garnish with some coriander leaf it was a pleasure spending these moments with you many of you have written to me and i thank you all for your kind and encouraging words it means a lot i thank mrs olga salins mrs hollerin parry mr sai satish and all the josephites from shrikakulam in a very special way for promoting and helping us to grow i also thank all viewers and subscribers may god bless you all enjoy the gift of life and in everything give your best today stay safe stay happy and i'll see you soon peace and blessings be with you